Welcome to the Ritz Festival in Bougainville, a biocultural diversity celebration of our island's unique cow culture. Cow or pen pipes and chanting is widely practiced on the entire island, even in the western province of the nearby Solomon Islands. Cow culture signifies the outward display of happiness in reconciliation, in friendship, in mending souring relationships and other ceremonial and ritual occasions. At these times when the world is facing great change and uncertainty, many indigenous people of the world are challenged whether to keep our culture or allow it to die as we follow our developmental efforts that are based on the powerful Western orientations and influences that sooner or later might surely see the demise of our Melanesian languages and cultures. Our culture is the one thing that identifies us as a unique group of people on this planet. December 8 and 9, 2009, 13 different cow groups gathered at Tubiana Kieta to display to each other their different styles of cow music. Cow groups came all the way from Rauvira in the Wakunai district in the north to Une in the Wisai district in the southeast. The Nasioes of Kieta were represented by groups from Rumba, Sirampana, Makeniko Sivoronto. Popok Islanders. PDS Kaniki Eberia. The Mausi. Pumawa villages. Two of the cool culture composition prize winners also came, Atamo and Aidip. The Ottoman culture came to open the event with the beach of the Karamut. Last minute inclusions like Okwa groups were also slotted to take part. It was great. The elders involved in the festival were very much overwhelmed to see some support and some desires to saving our God-given culture. Even more amazed that it was through the efforts of one American organization who saw the need to back up the custodians of indigenous cultures of the world. This is the foundation. As Ting Ting Blim Blow, the English people talk the same blow, to back the stewards of biological and cultural diversity. So blow, back him up or support him all. Mama, Papa, Grand Wally will look out in my environment, na culture, and custom blim. No place. The Christensen Fund in America recognizes and understands the reasons why the region of Melanesia 
still has much of its biodiversity in place. It is due to the biocultural diversity of the Melanesian people. We hope that our next Reach Festival in July 2011 will see even bigger involvement by our children, whom we had to transfer cultural skills and knowledge to carry on saving our culture. The old leaves must fall to allow the young leaves to grow, leaving the wisdom of the trunk to the young leaves to carry on the culture of the tree. So too, Melanesian elders must fall and die after transferring the skills and knowledge of our cultural land to the future generations. Thank you.